Please respect our staff. For many of them, this is their first job. They are teenagers. They are someone's child. They could be your child. Do not be rude to them. If you have a problem, ask for the manager, who also deserves to be treated with respect and kindness. Or send a message to the owner at wherevergmail.com. Thank you for all those who are respectful and patient. P.S. It is sad we have to post this, but some people need to be reminded. Karens. We've all seen them. On the street, at your local store, your parents' Facebook group, they're everywhere. And they're angry and want to see the manager. But what happens when Karen becomes the manager? Also, serious question. If Karen becomes the manager, and another Karen demands to see the manager, does it cancel out, or does it cause some kind of disastrous event? I want to know what you guys think. This is the kind of shit we need answers to. Okay, so we got a million dollar company, and Karen's saying she's never going to shop here again. Okay, so how much you want to bet that a good chunk of these people who say that they'll never come back show up again like two days later, only to have this shit happen all over again, thus restarting the cycle for the third time this month. Um, excuse me, I demand to party with the manager. His group wasn't seated fast enough, and now he's furious. Dwayne Johnson in. I'd like to speak to the manager, coming this fall to a theater near you. No. No, 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 no. They're working in groups. Sound the alarm. This is a four-stage emergency. This is not a drill. This is not- When you fight the cashier for an hour to get a $1 discount. Stonks. Recognized experts over time. Right, 1980s, leading scientist. 1990s, PhD student. 2000s, media expert. 2010s, Karen on Facebook. Look, if Karen says that Facebook article saying that we should all start huffing essential oils every morning to prevent take me from behind itis is true, then it has to be. We used to wonder about kids who threw tantrums in stores to get their parents to buy them shit. Now there are adults who throw tantrums in stores to get managers to give them shit. Wow, I really can't believe how people can be so judgmental over a flipping haircut. Yes, my hair has been different lengths of the style for years. I've got nothing but complaints on my hair. But then again, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But you don't have to be such jerks about it. Would you like to speak to the page administrator about this? I want to speak to the manager. Take me to your leader. Wait a second. The raid. The raid, we have to call it off. We can't go to Area 51, they'll take over- I need some suggestions. My 16 year old son is a pain in every nerve I have. Super moody, angry, lazy, sneaky, defiant, knows everything, etc. I know, typical teenager, but I was a teenage girl once and never remember being this bad with my mom. He refuses to use the oils I give him, the soaps I provide, even the supplements I suggest he use. He tells me he prefers the chemically laden store bought stuff and wants none of these oil things. I sneak oils into his food, spray his room and pillow when he's not looking, put them on his clean laundry, even rub oils on myself before I touch him to get oils on him. I need help with what oils I should use, and apparently I'm not using the right ones. Do the same oils that help with female hormones work with teenage boys? What would you suggest? Thanks! I'm gonna call Child Protective Services! Alright guys, that's it for now, so... I'll see you next time or something.